Hey guys, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Forgive my, uh, my limp joystick here. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> I can't keep it straight. I can't do it. Anyway, so I'm, I'm back in the ASP. I'm really, I'm really liking it. It's really, it's, it's the only ship in my price range currently for this job. What is this job? Mining. I've, all, I've, I've mentioned it before, you know, if you've been watching my Elite Dangerous videos for a while, I've, you've probably heard me mention how much I, I like the concept of mining and how much I like mining in general in these type of games. And I've just never before gotten into, you know, the actual act, the process of mining within Elite Dangerous. I found it boring. With one tiny change, it's suddenly super fun. And, well, not like, like super fun. It's not exhilarating, but it's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying my time with it. And um, I was going to say more, more importantly, but, you know, to, just to, on top of that, the cherry on, on the cake, the icing and the cherry and any other kind of, you know, accoutrement you want to put on top, um, I'm actually making money from it. Not like a huge amount of money, but enough, you know, it's not small potatoes, so to speak. Who says small potatoes? What am I like? 50? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry if, if there's someone watching who is 50. Or over and does not say small potatoes, but <laughs> seems like a very, very old term to me. So uh, I've changed my HUD color again because, you know, I don't know, I'm that kind of guy. Um, it's now, we're not going for a lovely sort of burnt orange with some, with some purple, with some purple thrown in there. So th this is basically like a, this is, this is sort of the, the default HUD, but more savage. It's, it's more like burnt orange and purple instead of uh, like this passive blue. I like it. It's good stuff. All right. So, you know, enough of, enough of that rambling. Uh, let's actually, I'm going to show you what we got here. So there's going to be a link in, in, in the description to a Steam community post thread thing, uh, which is what, what gave me the idea here, right? So I can't take uh, original credit for what's going on here. And it may seem really obvious to you uh, what we're doing, but I'll just go to outfitting here and I'll show you my setup for mining. Uh, so I've got uh, four, you know, four 1D mining lasers here. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Uh, you, you could probably get away with having like two mediums instead, I guess. I just figured just in case I want to actually put some, some weapons in the medium hard points. Um, you know, then, then I can actually, you know, have some teeth here. I can defend myself. Um while I'm mining, which, you know, might not actually come to fruition because I'm pretty squishy because um, I haven't got any shields. Uh, the core, core internals, nothing too special. You know, I'm probably more upgraded than I need to. Um, you know, general rule of thumb, I've heard it said that you, you haven't actually upgraded your ship until you've got the highest rated power distributor that you can get. So <laughs> power distributor um, is probably like your, your primary focus here. Otherwise you don't need really good thrusters. You don't need a good FSD, but I got them anyway, because I like to have them. Now we get to the meat of the issue. So uh, we got we got like all the all the cargo space I can shove on here, which interestingly enough is uh, is only three cargo racks. So of course we got the, uh, the six, the five and the three. Otherwise in the, uh, in the two, two, three, what am I, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten my, myself sort of, sort of mixed up here. Class, class three, that's the word. That's what I'm looking for. Class is the word I forgot. Okay, in the two class three slots here, we've got collector limpet controllers. So this actually allows us to have uh, four collector limpets out at once. And that, that my friends is the kicker. It seems so obvious to me now, but I never actually thought of it. I always figured, no, I only, only have one collector limpet controller and I can load up on cargo space. But you know what? If you're sitting there for hours on end and it takes, it's just taken too long to fill up your massive cargo space, you know, it doesn't matter how big it is. You're not going to make much of a profit. It's not going to be very efficient because, uh, you know, like I just said, it's taking you forever. So you're actually better off um, doubling or tripling depending on your setup uh the amount of limpets you got out at once and then it just speeds up the process so so much and for me at least it it makes it fun 
because, um, you know, not only is it more efficient, like I just said, but you, it's actually kind of fun to see the limpets flying around and collecting shit. It's like my little swarm army of drones. It's so cool, guys. And then, uh, then you can just get the smallest pro uh, prospector limpet controller, uh, and that should be fine. Now, I'm just going to do a... I'm not actually sure uh, of our options here, but I'm just going to check out a, a Class 3 prospector limpet controller and it does let you to th uh does let you throw out two limpets at once okay so that's interesting that's interesting so so if you wanted to like prospect multiple asteroids um at the one time that's something you can get away with but for me at least with this setup i'm i'm happy going for uh for 104 tons of cargo space uh for collector limpets and one prospector limpet is uh is perfect uh then we got a class two refinery which is a six bin you know it would be nice to have like an eight or, or ten bin i think there's a ten bin yeah i'm pretty sure there is <laughs> be nice to have that but uh the cargo cargo is important you need you need a lot of drones limpets you know i like i'm probably gonna call them drones um you need a lot of them and you need a lot of cargo space and that's kind of the secret to mining um, and, and I, I'm fully aware there's no secret here because now that I now that I know this, it seems like the most obvious thing in the world. But I'm uh, making this video, you know, primarily as entertainment, but also there's probably there's probably some people that are completely lost that want to try mining, but they just can't wrap their head around how do I actually make money from this and how do I make it fun? Um, now you know. <laughs> so basically, when you when you upgrade your ship, when you get bigger ships. It's going to be, you know, even more efficient. It's going to be so, so sexual because you can just have like all the limpets in the world out there. Uh, word of warning though, there is a bug that I've, I've, um, you know, come into where the, and it is a bug. It's the, the cargo scoop breaks. So it, it's sort of, it's closed, but the game thinks that it's open, even though it's actually closed and, and the little light on your, on your uh, UI is in your cockpit signals that it's closed. So for the sake of using it, it's closed, but for the sake of, you know, preventing you from jumping, it's open. It's really stupid. It's uh, I think it has to do with uh, like the, the limpets trying to shove in, like get in there too quick or something. It's really awkward. Um, in any case, just cl uh, quitting to the main menu and back, uh, going back into the game usually fixes it for me. So, you know, that's a workaround. It's not going to like destroy your game, at least in my experience, but it, it is awkward and something to be aware of. But, you know, I'm still enjoying, I'm still enjoying my uh, time with mining here. So I've actually got a full load. I'm going to go out and I'm going to show you what I do, the general practice of mining in a second. But for now, we're going to sell my full load here and uh, we're just going to go through what I got. So I've got uh, osmium, silver, gold. How the hell do you pronounce this? Prip. Prezio, pre, pre, preziodium, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I got a lot of that. Panite is like the bomb.com, um, but it's kind of tricky to sell it for the galactic average there. Um, I haven't found a place that will pay that much for it, but still it's not, you know, it's, it, you still get quite a bit for it. Um, in general, I found, you know, I've been able to sell it for like 14,000 a ton. Um, Samarium, Palladium is very good. I got a lot of palladium. This should this should give me a nice nice wad of cash here. Um, so this do not take this as like these are the only minerals you should be going after. This is just these are the ones that I've these are the most profitable minerals that I have found most commonly. Um, so these are the ones that I'm prioritizing. But we'll get more into that, you know, once we actually get out into the into the field. So let's go and sell this stuff. Commodities market. Luckily, finding a place to sell this stuff, uh, you know, so far has not proved, has not proven to be proven. Has not, has not, it hasn't been too tricky <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. Um, there's usually a station in the system you're mining that will take this stuff for near or over the galactic average. Look at this galactic average, you know, 9,401. We're going to sell it for 9,361. I love it. That's the way to go. How much are we going to get from this this particular mineral, from this gold? 84,000. I love it. We're going to sell that shit. 
So actually, I should, probably should have checked my 84. So we had uh, 58 million 100,000 credits. We'll just say that. So I've already made 84. Let's uh, let's see what, let's see what we got after the after the full haul. Oh man, I love a good I love a good haul. It's just so it's just so good. This is this is look at this palladium so close to the, to the galactic average. This is going to be a nice nice fat wad right here. That's right. That's right. That's right. 312 thousand credits. That's what I like to see. Oh baby, uh, this one that I can't pronounce. You know, below the galactic average, but still not bad. I, I feel like you know unless unless you you've gotten like a whole a whole cargo hold full of gold. Um, and it's like, they're only going to buy it for like one credit or something, which is absurd. That wouldn't happen. But you know, just for the sake of argument, unless it's like so, so far below the galactic average, if it's just like a couple thousand, it's not, I don't think it's even worth shopping around. Just sell it and get out there and, um, and then prioritize the minerals that you know are going to sell, uh, well. So uh, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going through this. Yeah, this is half of the half of the galactic average, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, this is actually above. So they're they're buying silver for above the average, which is good. Silver surprisingly is not like hugely profitable. It's kind of like borderline. Uh, Panite. See, yeah, fourteen thousand. That's all right. That's all right. I don't not really into shopping around there though. If I did, I'd get a savage price for that. But it's like it's the it's like, yeah, you'll, you'll get more money, but is it worth the time shopping around? Bio waste is not something that I have. Is that everything? Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. So how much did I make there? I made 700,000, like, yeah, base, you know, roughly 700,000, um, credits there. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Like I said, it's not the most profitable, like credits per hour kind of thing that you probably want to go with, the. Uh, smuggling, trading, and I mean, by smuggling, I mean uh, running smuggling missions, uh, if you can find them, because they're like a dickens to find these days. But um, yeah, but the only pro the problem with that is it's, it's, it gets boring, right? Because it's, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Um, with mining, there's actually, there's some discovery there. You've got to find the right minerals. And then when you get an efficient, uh, you know, chain of roids, it's like, oh, maybe it's, it's where it's at. It's where it's at. So before we, we take off, don't forget to fill your cargo hold with limpet, <laughs> with limpets rather. Um, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take a full, I'm going to take a full hold. No, I'm going to take, I'm going to take 100. And this is going to be too much. We're actually going to have to drop some. Uh, and you'll see why in a second. We'll actually end up, you know, not using all of them. Uh, wasting a lot of them, but that's all right. It's super cheap, so it doesn't matter. Um, the issue is, what is the issue? Now I've lost the plot. Never mind. <laughs> You'll see in a second. You'll see. Uh, so let's take off here, and we're just going to, we're going to head out to, to where is it? Jura Seven. So just a quick note on actually finding, you know, places to mine. You know, naturally you want, ideally you want to be mining in uh, pristine. Metallic rings. Um, that's going to be, you know, the most efficient and it's going to be the the highest price minerals. Um, in terms of actually finding these rings, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um, I, I actually went searching on the line trying to figure out like how do you actually find them? And there and people are like, I just look around, <laughs> you'll find them eventually. Here's a list of a bunch of places that have them. So I came to to Jura, Jura here, or Jura, however you pronounce this, um, and this is, this has got, this is, give me the hookup here, this is, uh, this is some, some pristine metallic rings all up in here, um, so, yeah, sorry, I can't, like, tell you exactly how to find these rings, but once you find them, you know, you'll know, so we're gonna go to the, uh, the hazardous, uh, resource extraction site, it's not that simple, and you'll see in a second, um, so I am going to launch here and I will see you once we're a little bit closer. All right. So we're coming into the hazardous extraction site here. Now you don't actually want to be, um, mining in these sites because it's, it's just too dangerous. You'll be, you'll be mining in combat more often than not. Actually, we're going to stop here. I'm just going to slow right down and stop short. And I'm going to explain a couple of things here. We're actually going to change our plan. 
um, as you will see in a moment. But you don't actually want to be mining in these in these spots um, because you're going to be in combat for most of the time. It's going to be inefficient. You're probably going to die because you're running shieldless. Oh, you you should be running shieldless. I, I'll be very disappointed in you if you if you're doing this with shields. <laughs> I'm of course joking. Play however you want, man. But uh, I'm personally doing it without shield, so it's a little bit iffy. I don't want to be in combat. I want to be as far away from the, the weapons fire as possible. So what I do is jump into these, these places, then jump, you know, as far... Sorry, no, then boost as far out um, as I feel I have to be to be safe, and then I start mining. The reason that I start here is supposedly you get a bonus um, in the ore that you find when you mine in a hazardous uh, extraction site or a high, you know extraction side or whatever um the only issue is i might actually be boosting out further you know past the bonus i can't say for sure i, I don't know um but the reason we're not going to jump in here is it's actually in the dark it's in uh it's behind the planet it's it's going to be it's going to be a bitch to mine here it's going to be unpleasant so instead what i'm going to do is uh what a lot of other people have suggested you do is forego the bonus and just like find a random spot in the ring. You know, you can totally do that. You're not going to, it's not like there's not going to be any minerals there. You just won't get that uh, supposed bonus. That's fine. You'll be safe and you'll be in the daylight. Mining uh, my <laughs> mining in the dark is not fun. And your uh, your ship lights do not compensate. All right. So the only thing here is you got to be, you got to be careful. You probably get a you know what? I'm I'm never really good at, at coming into the ring. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to have to emergency stop and take some damage. That's all right. Not too much of a problem. I think if you slow right down, you can you can safely stop. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Um, but for now, that's all right. You know, let's, uh, let's check our surroundings. We are well and truly in the light. So the only thing I probably want to do... Well, we're kind of on the border here, which is un un unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we, so we probably want to like head in that direction if at all possible. But I find, you know, you come into the middle of the ring or thereabouts and uh, and then you're like, you make your way towards the planet. And that, that usually works for me. I, I can't say for sure. I'm, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like flat out say that the better minerals are closer to the planet. But, you know, anecdotally speaking, in my experience, that's kind of been the case. But don't take my word for it. It could just be luck. Uh, so here we are. Here we are in the belt. First thing, like if I, if, if this were a video about like me convincing you that mining is fun and the thing that you should spend your life doing, uh, it's it's just fun flying amongst the uh, the asteroids. Let me tell you, if you want if you want practice uh, flying with flight assist, flight assist off, yeah, just like that, baby. You uh you come to you come to one of the rings, and you try and dodge asteroids. It's pretty good. It's it's good fun. It's good fun, but we're not going to do that just now, because uh, that's going to hang on. Is there someone here? Internal security service. That's all right. He can hang out with me as much as he wants. So assuming that we're we've jumped in to the uh, the res, you know, we're going to boost out like 40 kilometers, maybe more. And like I said before, that might actually negate the supposed bonus you get from mining in the res. Uh, but at least you'll be safe. And assuming it does negate the bonus, hey, I've been fine with the minerals that I've been getting. So, first thing you want to do is you want to pull out your hard points, deploy your hard points, and get your fancy prospector limpet ready to go. You want to pick a uh, an asteroid at random, and uh, you want to probe probe that that son of a bitch. So you uh, you, you probe it. I'm probably going to hit this asteroid. <laughs> yeah yeah no we're good we're good this sometimes happens the asp is a little bit too fast for its own good and it's difficult to stop on occasion all right so then you want to target the uh the prospector and it just don't scan me buddy uh, it basically tells you you know the amount of minerals remaining in the asteroid it tells you you know what percentage um and specific minerals in the asteroid. So as you can see, 100% uh, of the min uh, minerals remaining, because we haven't mined it at all yet, it's got 24.03% uh, uh, osmium and 18.49% gold. And it has a low chance of yielding material content, which is, you know, stuff for, um, 
synthesis slash the engineers and whatnot. So this is actually a really good asteroid. So my first pro tip is if at all you, I say pro tip, I've been, you know, it's like I've been doing it for a day. <laughs> I'm not a pro at this. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are people who know more than this, just I haven't found any that have made videos. Uh, okay, so quote unquote pro tip is you want to try and find the asteroids that have only the minerals you want. So for example, if this asteroid also had gallite, which is absolute shit and you don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole, um, I say shit because it's like worth, you know, essentially nothing. You're not going to make any money off it. Um, if it had gallite, yeah, as like, as well as the osmium and the gold. Yeah, maybe. The only problem is then you've got to babysit your, uh, your refinery and you got to like filter out the gallite and it's a pain in the ass. As you can see, I've, I've already got some minerals in there that, you know, have been making me a profit. So why not just stick to those? And this asteroid is perfect because it's got gold and osmium, which are two of the minerals that I've been mining, uh, you know, the past few hours. So it's going to be super simple. As you can see, you know, hang on. Okay, I did. I deactivated my uh, my mining lasers earlier. Try and do uh, troubleshoot that that cargo scoop bug I, I mentioned. But we should be good. So now I'm going to switch over to my uh, my collectors. So make sure you're not targeting any of the any of the minerals when you fire these, because otherwise, at least in my experience, they will pick up that mineral mineral that specific one, and then they'll die. And then you'll you'll run out of collectors like uh, in a heartbeat. That's not what you want. But uh, it's it is acceptable to have the prospector uh, targeted while you're throwing out your limpets. They they will still just pick up uh, general stuff uh, like that. So you, you also probably want to put all power into your weapons here so that you can have your mining lasers going for longer. So then of course you can go to contacts and can you see you can see what, what's come out. Naturally, everything is just gold and osmium, uh, which is fantastic. Fantastic rather, which means you can go to a refinery and just uh, see it all go in. You also probably want to open up your cargo hatch. That that might help as well, eh? <laughs> so you can just see it. You can see it go in there. Hey, I just I lost two limpets because I've lost another one because the asteroid hates me. Okay, <laughs> sometimes this will happen. You know, most of the time they last, you know, quite a bit, quite a long time. Um, sometimes you do come across an aggressive asteroid and there's just nothing you can do about it, uh, unfortunately. Maybe you could find a better angle to mine at. That's probably a good idea, but, you know, I'm here. I, I may as well just, just continue on here. They'll probably be fine from now on. As long as the, like, it doesn't rotate in a really awkward fashion and, like, a big part of the spud comes and smacks them all. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is what you want. This is what makes mining, you know, efficient, in my opinion, fun and worth your while. It's, it's all about asteroid selection. If you select ast if you see an asteroid and it's like, oh shit, this thing has 50% gold, but it's also got a bunch of minerals that I don't want. You know, I actually, despite the fact that it's got all this gold, oh shit, that was close. Despite the fact that it's got all that gold, I actually let it go, you know? Because it's going to be, it's going to take up so much, not only it's going to be tedious, but it's going to take up more of my time to filter out the minerals that I don't want. So I'm better off going after the asteroids that, that just have, that just have the stuff I want. And there you go. And w what's great about having the prospector there, so I was just double checking there because, wow, this asteroid really hates me. It's killing all my limpets. <laughs> the beauty of having the prospector there is it tells you when there are no more minerals left. So then you can go, hey, all right, I'll just wait for my, uh, I'll just wait for my collectors to, to pick everything up and then I'll be on my way. You know, there's no waste in time. It's beautiful. So you can just, you know, you can monitor here. Just make sure, you know, you can see when everything's all picked up and we're almost done. We're almost good to go. And, uh, you, you guys, hey guys, you want to, you want to like grab all that? <laughs> so we've already got three osmium and three gold. That's not bad for like just what like a couple minutes and like no effort i don't know look to most people to, to people who, who primarily engage in bounty hunting you're probably like what the fuck is going on here but i find this fun it's it's, it's some people find it relaxing i don't think it's necessarily necessarily relaxing um i do find it oddly engaging 
All right, so we're all good to go. Now my uh, my collector limpets will follow me as I go out, switch over to my uh, my prospector limpet controller again and find another asteroid. It's as simple as that. So uh, another quote unquote pro tip is you can fire the prospector pretty early. It will go the distance. So uh, even though I can't, I can't actually shoot at this asteroid yet, I've shot my uh, prospector off. Just make sure you're going in a straight line towards the asteroid because sometimes it'll overshoot. So I can target the prospector in advance. And once it gets there, I will see that it has uh, Bertrandite, Osmium and Galite. See, I'm not gonna go after this. Uh, Bertrandite isn't like absolute trash, but it's not one of my favorites. Um, but more so, it's got the Galite in there, which means it's gonna take time for me to filter out the Galite. Plus, I don't really want the Bertrandite because uh, as you can see, my bins are already full up with things that are not that. So there you go. You know, and that's fine. You know, you, you might think, oh shit, well, I've just wasted a, a limpet. Nah, dog, you're fine. Because you'll actually end up, you're better off using the limpets to prospect than, than trying to jettison them. And let me tell you, it's a bitch trying to get rid of them manually because the, the limpet controllers will want to pick them up. <laughs> it's really obnoxious. So you're much, much better off actually using them to prospect. This one, Indite, again, like if that's all you can find, it's not terrible and despite the fact that it has uh preciodinium you know, the, the one i can't pronounce no i don't want anything to do with that asteroid plus it's got galite next right and like this like this it's fun if you're trying to mine all the crap and fil filter it out no wonder it's tedious no wonder people don't do it and why and and, and no wonder people think it's not profitable like yeah like i'll reiterate there are better things. If, if all you want to do is make money, there are better things to do with your time. This has panite. See, this is tempting because it's got panite, but sorry, buddy. <laughs> We're going to give up that panite because there's galite in there and I don't want to deal with that. There you go. You know, I, like, as I was saying, so yeah, if you're just after money, there are better things to do with your time and Elite Dangerous. But if you do enjoy mining, do it like this. This is the way to go. I'll actually be doing this a lot more. And now I've got, you know, a goal of, well, I, I need to, I need to go with the haulers now. I need to, I need to make mining builds. I'm, I'm excited. This is really weird. <laughs> I'm excited about like hanging around in, in planet rings and just, just like getting up close with these roids and having a good time. So we're actually kind of having, having a little bit of bad luck here. Usually we've found something by now. But again, yeah, it, it is. There is a, a luck element here. There we go. That's just got indite. I mean, what, what, what are they even doing there? <laughs> what is even happening? Uh, okay. And it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit more engaging flying amongst the asteroids, like I said before. Um, the problem that I have with combat in Elite is it doesn't take place anywhere interesting. It's in open space. This is an asteroid I want to mine. We've got Panite. we got that one I can't pronounce. We are good to go. Let's do it, baby. Let what must be done be done. I'm going to, like, scooch over here a little bit so I don't get hit by that big dongle on the end there. Also, I found that going for the really small, more... Um, more spherical asteroids, they usually have good stuff. Now, I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or if the small ones do do genuinely have um, better minerals, but, you know, I'm just, just letting you know here. So, I, th I think we can... How much does... Osmium is pretty good. I think we can get rid of the Samarium to make room for that one I can't pronounce. <laughs> And there you go. Now we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to juggle um, minerals here. It's so easy. So we're just shooting the fucking roid and the, the collectors are just doing the work for us. It's beautiful. This is this is the shit. It's far better than mining in, in EVE Online. <laughs> Resources unallocated. What's going on there? No, no, we're, we're allocated as fuck, man. Look at all this panite. Now, we, uh, we have lost a Collector Limpet, probably due to them being out for, for a little while. Yeah, they're starting to expire now. That's acceptable. But yeah, I read, you know, people, are, people have been rocking, like, um, 
like eight collectors at once, which is absurd. Um, I, I can't comment on what a, what a good ratio is. I've, I've, I've read, again, in that, I think it was that, um, that thread that I'll link you to in the description. I think someone said uh, three, three collectors per one medium mining laser. I think that's what they said. Again, I can't comment on that because that's not what I got here. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, we're, just, we're just like going really well. Look at all this. Look at all these five panite straight off the bat. And it's like no effort because I'm not juggling. That's it's like this is pretty much it, guys. You know, I've shown you, uh, you know, what kind of profit you can expect from a full hold. And that wasn't really like if I, if I wanted to focus on one mineral, you can absolutely do that. If I just wanted to go mining for panite, totally doable. Might take you a little longer, but at least you're not going to be faffing about, you know, because you've got to find the, the roids that just have panite and, you know, other valuable minerals. Um, and then you've got to make a, a, a bigger profit. You know, you've got options here. It's pretty cool. So, you know, if you're, if you're into mining and you're not really sure how to go about it, you've tried it. And it was kind of boring. You didn't make any money from it, guys. I beseech you, you know, load up with as much uh, with as many collector Olympic controllers as, as you can stand. Get a get a prospect Olympic controller and, and just be choosy with your roids. And that's what it's all about. That's all. That's what it's all about. All the live long day. You don't need shields because you're not going to be shot at out here. You don't need those shields, baby. You are good to go. Oh, we're depleted. Sorry, I got. <laughs> Got distracted there anyway i'll leave you there um otherwise you know i don't want to take you through this whole thing of like me filling up my hold uh though i've got not, not doing too badly so far um but yeah i'm not going to take you through the whole process you've already seen uh you know what a what an average hold uh nets you in terms of profit so i'll uh i'll leave you i'll leave you with that guys anyway thank you very much for watching uh, let me know what you, let me know what your favorite thing to do in Elite is, what your quote unquote profession is. Uh, have you tried mining? What do you think of it? And, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.